Well, here we fucking go again. Another episode of fucking building a race car. This time I got one week to get this piece of shit on fucking track. Why do you keep doing this to us? I don't know, Morty. Maybe I hate myself. Maybe I think I deserve to die. I, 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 don't, I don't know. <laughs> point of this episode is to show you guys you can go dirt track racing for under two thousand fucking dollars minus fire suit and helmet i'm not going to put those on the list but for under two thousand dollars you can go fucking dirt track racing this is a 1980s fucking gmg body like, i don't know 83 85 uh monte carlo overall the car's in really good shape this is probably the best built race car out the fleet it came with four matching fucking aero wheels but i took the front two off put them on the iq zero car for ike the thing's still got a full frame underneath it it hasn't been halved or anything still a full frame minus the rear frame horns they're chopped out and replaced with square steel i'm guessing that's the whole reason this thing became a race car is because the rear frame horns rotted out because it's a common g-body thing but like i said overall guys the build quality on this one is way 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 better and i mean the cage is nice and fucking solid uh, overall it's it's a really good fucking race car 700 beans for this guy as you fucking see it with the steering wheel already the quick release steering wheel and the fucking racing seat yeah see there's imagine those two wheels on the front nice fucking grant steering wheel no dry train whatsoever. It has the rear hand housing in it, obviously, and the axle shafts. No uh, carrier or pinion or anything. So, basically, it's a whole drivetrain swap. And then I'm going to have to wire the car because, as you can see, the holes are there for the gauges and the switches, but uh, none of them are there. But it did come with a fuel shut off, so that's a plus. What are you going to want to do with the best race car you got? Get a Facebook uh, uh, Marketplace 305, not even 350, a fucking another 305. I mean, blown up 305, another 305, the green car is a 305, the IQ0 has a fucking high mileage worn the fuck out 350, which is probably putting out less horsepower than a 305, to be honest with you. What are you going to want to do to put that power to the ground? You know, another turbo 350 or something, or a power glide? Nope. 700 r this came out of the red uh camaro at the jews house it's sitting in the woods there it's a fucking mouse house more or less it's uh about all that thing's worth that or maybe it'll get turned to uh another race car someday meet the cocksuckers together remove all the fucking tbi shit get it ready to be fucking carbureted i'm gonna put you guys in some fucking time lapse here and uh we're gonna strip this cocksucker and get that bolted up to that Over at the Jews real quick, snagging the intake off the uh, Volcano 350 here, you know, out of this fucking majestic thing. I was just thinking, we're totally green on this fucking show here. We reduce, we reuse. He's gonna take gas that's got maybe 60, 70 miles on him. We're getting fucking reused. And we recycle here. There you go. Well, got the fucking 305 all vacuumed out, cleaned up. Ready for the fucking Volcano 350 intake. And then I gotta hang a flywheel and the motor mounts on it. There we go, intake's on, fucking engine mount brackets are on, flywheel's on. Time to slide a torque converter in that cocksucker and 
right on. Now when building a race car, when it comes to, you know, your automatic transmission, if you, it's pretty important what you pick for a torque converter for racing and, you know. So that's why you're just going to want to go in the fucking scrap pile here and grab uh, the least shittiest looking one here. Slam her on home. When you select your shitty torque converter, you're going to want the one that has a broken off bolt in it. Fuck! Now it's come time to fucking put this beast of a fucking power plant in here. Like I was saying, this car was pretty fucking well built. Other than it's still got a stock vacuum booster there. That's interesting. Battery used to be mounted there. I don't know if I'm going to keep it there or not. There's those fucking mounts I was talking about. They're just welded right to the frame. Just fucking send a bolt on either side in and call it a day. If you're wondering what kind of shape this fucking motor is with its fucking spark plugs, I mean... It's a typical Chevy. Some of them are fucking wet with oil and, you know, but otherwise, not too bad. Time to put this cocksucker in. So we're, where we're at is uh, that far away. As you can see, Trans is uh, smashed against the floor. It's fucking right up against a stupid goddamn welded in cross member. It doesn't unbolt, does nothing. So I'm gonna have to fucking slit it on both sides, get the motor mounted, and then weld up a new fucking cross member. This was set up for, I'm guessing a TH350, maybe a fucking power glide. I don't fucking know, but uh, yeah, fuck. By the way, this is all the useless bullshit that you pull off the 305 or 350. Less weight. Vroom, vroom. Well, got the fucking motor mounted. Got the bolt right down in there. Got these uh, small block fucking shorty headers in here. These are for, uh, you know, 88 to 98 Chevy 1500 shorty headers. They'll hook up to the stock fucking Y pipe. Um, in order to make them fit this fucking G body frame, I had to bend the fuck out of this one. Had to trim away at this fucking tab a little bit there. And on the other side, don't mind the fucking hole. There was a, a, a metal fucking tab on there. I gotta weld up the fucking hole because it broke. But uh, had to bend that guy in, which uh, I gotta bend in a little bit more. She ain't touching it, it's just a cunt hair. That's about all I had to do on this fucking side. The motor in is uh, just took ye old fucking sawzall there. Went to town on that fucking welded in cross member. And as you can see what I did, I flipped it around, it'll work, and I'll just have to fucking weld it up. I got the drive shaft in, but obviously there's a, you know, no ring and pinion in the fucking thing, so. That's what I'm fucking working on now. A rear end of a 98S10. It's got a new rear fucking disc on, or uh, shoes on it, hardware kit literally like 3,000 miles on it if that I helped my buddy a long time ago actually the jungle arm freak it came from him like literally 10 12 years ago but yeah it's been sitting in the garage ever since just uh another shitty gm seven and a half inch fucking uh rear end here and i'm pretty sure it's what's under the fucking money here even though the uh covers are slightly different fucking shape i will find out because usually a round fucking cover means gm eight and a half but uh that carrier in there looks pretty fucking tiny so the reason i cleaned out that fucking drain bucket there is because i'm reusing this fluid in this fucking thing when i put it together only the finest for complete toilet garage race team so in case any fucks never uh took apart a salisbury c-clip type fucking rear end oh this is this bolt right here it holds this pin in all it does is go through that hole holds that pin in slide the pin out which, you, know, you gotta rotate the fucking carrier here, and you gotta watch out that your spider gears don't fucking fall in, but if they do, they do. It's the way she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes it doesn't. She didn't go. It's the way she goes. Well, you rotate, get the pin out, push in the fucking axle here, you just go clunk, push it in, watch. Oh, look at that! And then, take a fucking magnet here, and look, there you go. Look at that. Axle comes out. Holy fucking shit. Before you think, oh my god, he's taking it apart without fucking looking at it or drawing a diagram or this or that. Well, I can do these fucking things in my sleep, so. Alright, gonna show you faggots how to do drum brakes here real quick. 
at least uh, transferring them over. You're gonna want the fucking thing towards the end of it to be able to have the fucking room to turn the goddamn thing. So jam it in there. Turn the outside. Sometimes you gotta turn the pin itself. It's on these newer fucking shitbox cars. You got no fucking room whatsoever. Get in your fucking thing there. That's the lever that holds up the fucking this guy for the self adjuster. Eh, that's how I normally do it. You can use the fancy fucking tool and all that. Real mechanic. She uses vice strips and a fucking flathead screwdriver. You know it's working right when it sparks, by the way. This technically ain't the right spring for it. It's technically a hold down spring. From what I can remember, 10 plus fucking years ago, mind you, the new kit did not come with the fucking spring. So, repurpose, reuse. Yeah, look at that, brand fucking new. It's now fucking Monday night. After a lot of fucking around on the weekend here, didn't have nowhere near as much time as I thought I would. It is now uh, Monday night. As you can see, the carrier's still on there, but the fucking pinion ain't there. Holy shit, after fucking running all around for these goddamn parts, just come to find out. So this is a 98 S10 rear end, it's 7.5 GM rear end, whatever. The outer pinion bearing down there was the same along with the race, but the inner uh, bearing and race, come to find out after fucking around getting that race out, uh, it doesn't press in there. Yeah, here's the old bearing. What it is is... Uh, I found it on the internet, 78 to 81 GMs. The uh, inner fucking pinion bearing and race is uh, just a cut hair smaller. A lot of fucking around there, and I found that out after the parts stores closed fucking Sunday night there, so fuck me. You boys, look at that. There's a fucking pinion in the goddamn thing. Sounds like shit, barely spins, but it's a fucking race car, so it's fine. And if you're wondering, yes, I reused the fucking crush sleeve from that fucking rear end. Everything I could reuse from that rear end, including that fucking gear oil right there, is getting used in this cocksucker. Simple as that. Don't care if it fucking sounds like shit, vibrates. It's 20 laps on a third mile. It should do it. Uh, so I got a pinion in there. So now I, you know, set an angle on the transmission, but that's after I cut three inches out of the fucking drive shaft. Now, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh, you can't cut a drive shaft. It won't be balanced, blah, 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 blah. It's a fucking race car, and guess what? The drive shaft in the red car I fucking made too, so go fuck yourself. So the way you do them, so you don't have a crazy vibration, always cut it at the rear of the drive shaft, never the front. That right there helps immensely. But what I did before I started mauling this thing with the fucking grinder here is uh, the weld was nice and perfectly fucking straight, as you know, robots. So I took a uh, Sharpie, measured down the drive shaft three inches, marked it all away, and then use tape to fucking have a mark. I'm just about done cutting it. Once I do that, uh, I think I'm going to slit this or cut it back to where the inside sleeve of the fucking uh, yoke is. Gussy that up all nice so it'll just slide right in. Put a couple tacks on it. Take it over, see if it fits. Alright, now that you're fucking shit in your pants and you're past the point of no fucking return here. What I do is I slit the fucking thing up the metal just to get a fucking idea where the actual, I mean I went a little too far, but basically right here is the actual, that guy. So you now know how fucking far down you gotta go, cut this back, and fucking grind all this shit down so that fucker will slide inside that cocksucker over there. But yeah, I fucking take a sharpie down the metal on the weight there and on the tape is the reference mark another way to hopefully keep it in balance well after fucking around get yourself that yeah i ground a little too deep too far up oh fucking well welder will fix that but thankfully i cut a little too deep there and my sharpie marker wore off well i know where uh, i fucking marked it drive shaft is uh cut nice and about as square as you can do you know take the level Put 90 degrees to it, and it should fucking work. Then, you know, the whole fact that the drive shaft is standing there by itself tells me it's uh, mostly fucking level. I'm going to go with that. I say she's good. Well, now it comes time to fucking weld it together. Take a ratchet strap, feed her through. 
get it so it won't completely fall apart on you. And what I do, find the flattest portion of floor you got. You make sure that yoke is nice and fucking flat against the floor. And so is that one. Do that, and chances are it's going to be decently balanced. Not 100%, but, you know, decent. Well, now that the cocksuckers tack together in, like, two or three fucking spots, carefully, go test fit the Well, the drive shaft's in there. But as you can see, it needs to be fucking shortened by uh, another inch and a half, two inches probably, so fuck. But, yeah, now I actually got the fucking uh, tranny sitting about where I need it to be. Well, then, transmission cross member to get that fucking done. Slow as fuck progress here. It's fucking midnight, so I think I'm done cutting fucking grinding. I still got a fuel system fucking rig up. The Jews work on the exhaust system. Get a carburetor. Got to hook up a fucking battery, which I think is going to go right there. Need a cooling system. Yeah. Oh, throttle pedal and fucking linkage. I need it all. And it's fucking midnight, Monday night. So it's actually Tuesday. We got to get this fucking thing done, guys, or else we're going to lose the fucking floor. Definitely not trying to do reality TV show drama. That's what it's fucking turning into. Will this cocksucker uh, race Friday? It's going to be close, guys. I'm just going to post some videos throughout the week, I think, of this fucking shit. Keep you guys updated, so remember. Till next time, uh, don't put your hands in any place you won't put your fucking dick.